Most of us use YouTube almost every single day, but in this video, I wanted to show you 10 tips and tricks to make you a lot more efficient when using YouTube. And I have a couple of extra bonus tips right at the end of the video that you don't want to miss. The very first option is speed change. So if a video is going too slow or if it's going too fast, you could actually change that. So on the mobile app, you could press the three dots right on the top here and go to playback speed. So by default, it's playing at normal speed, but you could choose any one of these options. So sometimes people tell me I'm going too fast on a tutorial and I recommend they watch it a little bit of a slower speed. Or if I'm going too slow for some people, they could watch it up to double speed here and really get through videos fast. This is available on the mobile app and on youtube.com on a computer. The next option is going forward or backward. So fast forwarding or rewinding on a video. On any video, if you double click on the right side, it goes forward 10 seconds. And if you double click on the left side, it goes backwards 10 seconds. This is on the mobile app. And on the computer, the same thing happens if you press J, it moves backwards 10 seconds. And if you press L on your keyboard, it goes forward 10 seconds. Very useful options if you want to skip a portion of the video quickly. Next option is leaving comments with a time code. Let's say you like one part of the video and you want to leave a comment about it or ask a question about it. All you have to do is add a comment here and type in the time that that happened. So let's say two minutes and 35 seconds into this video that happened. All you have to do is type that out and then post it as a comment and it turns it blue. So when people click that, it jumps to that portion of the video. So just by me clicking that, it jumped to the two minute and 35 second of the video and I could go ahead and press play right there. So that's a great way to let people know to look at a very specific part of a video in the comment section. Next tip is in search. So when you search something after you go ahead and press search, you'll see those lines right here that will get you search filters if you press them. Again, this is available on the desktop too, under filters when you do a search. But one of my favorite and useful things here is the upload date. So if YouTube is showing you things that are too outdated, you could search by things that were posted this month or even today, if you're looking for something very relevant. So if YouTube shows you a video that's three years old, you could go ahead and change it to this year and only see things that are relevant to your search that are current. And you could also change duration. For example, if you just wanna see a short video, you could do videos that are less than four minutes. And there are also all these other options available here for your search, including view count and rating, if you wanna change your search using these filters. Tip number six, sharing a very specific part of the video with someone else. So in a video, let's say you liked tip number four here, and that's at the two minute and three second mark. All you have to do is underneath the video, go to the share option, and this is available on youtube.com, but not currently on the YouTube mobile app. But you could press start at, click that, and wherever your cursor is on that video, or wherever you pause the video, it will start at that time, or you could go ahead and type in a very exact moment in the video. So two minute and three second, and it will change the URL of the video. So all I have to do is copy this now, and I could email this or text this to someone else, and the video will play at that exact moment and not in the beginning of the video. Very useful option inside of youtube.com. Tip number seven is looping a video. And this works again if you hold down on the mobile app or if you right click inside of a video on youtube.com and you could go ahead and press loop right here and it will play the video once the video is complete in a loop until you press stop. So this is great for playing music or videos that you wanna keep playing in a loop. Tip number eight is going along with the transcript of the video. So usually you could press this little CC here and you could go along with the closed captioning of the video. But if you press these three dots right here and open the transcript, the entire transcript of the video will play along on the right side of the video on youtube.com. So for example, right now I'm at the two minute and two second mark of the video. So you could see it's highlighted. So I'm gonna go ahead and mute this video and press play. 
and the transcript is going to automatically jump as you keep going throughout the video. So I'm not changing it here, but it's following the time here and jumping in sentence by sentence. So this is a great way if you want to retain the information of the video. It's not usually perfect if it's not edited, but it's still very useful to follow along with the transcript if you want to retain more information or see it in text format. The next option is using a YouTube plugin on youtube.com called TubeBuddy, and I'll have a link to it in the description. Let me show you what TubeBuddy does, even if you're not a YouTube creator and you're just viewing things on YouTube. You get this box on the right side of the video, again on youtube.com on a computer. You could get a very quick overview of the entire channel and the specific video, including even the tags that that video has. So this is very useful to see how big the channel is, for example, how many videos in total they have, and even the shares this video has on other social media platforms. So I find this really useful as a creator, but as a YouTube viewer, I also look at this often to see how good a video is based on these numbers. So you simply download the TubeBuddy plugin and it's gonna add this as a Chrome extension on your browser and you'll see this on every single video that you search on YouTube and you could always collapse it here if you don't wanna see it and it'll show up this way on the side. Tip number nine is also outside of YouTube, but this one is really gonna let you dive in the behind the scenes of a YouTube channel. You could come to socialblade.com and type in the channel name of your favorite YouTuber. And what you get here is a big picture overview of a YouTube channel. So you wanna see how many views a YouTube channel has in the last 30 days or an entire history of how a channel has grown over time or their rank in the world or in that country or even how much money that YouTube channel makes. They're all available over here on socialblade.com. So this is a great way to learn more about a channel that you like using socialblade.com. Tip number 10 is YouTube dark mode, again available on the mobile app and on youtube.com. Just press the little logo of your channel on the top side of the page and you could jump into the settings here and you could turn on dark theme. If you turn this on, it changes all of YouTube into dark mode, which is a lot easier to view, especially at night. And the bonus tip that I wanna show you is if you don't want YouTube to remember what you searched, Press the logo again on the mobile app or on youtube.com and turn on incognito here. Turn this on and by searching incognito, YouTube won't remember what you searched to make recommendation based on that. So if that's something what you want to do on some of your searches, you should use incognito mode available on YouTube, mobile app and youtube.com. And finally, one last bonus tip. If you really like a YouTube channel, you could press subscribe underneath but there's this little bell icon. If you click this bell icon, it's gonna notify you every time they post a video. So you could go ahead and press this on all right here and all the videos that are posted under that channel, you will get a notification and it'll make it a lot easier so you don't miss another video. And those are 10 tips that are gonna make you a lot more efficient when browsing videos on YouTube and youtube.com. Thanks so much for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up for easy to follow social media and tech videos and I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching again.